Cloak and Dagger, Season 2, Episode 6, and Episode 7 review. I didn't do 6. I remember watching the joint. I was like, man, that was kind of a hard episode to watch. Called what, Viking Town or whatever. Um, you know, with the, the motel and the human trafficking and things that Tandy got caught up into. And then I really enjoyed what we got from Episode 7, two-player. That was pretty cool. You know what I mean? So let me just run through both these episodes in a review real quick. Uh, yeah. Um, here's the thing. The human trafficking stuff was kind of tough to watch because Tandy got caught by this dude, Andre, and he's using her. And that, that's the funny thing. He's not just trying to get rid of his pain, but he's, he's they, they're in the business of human trafficking. These girls are getting caught and then they're letting guys come and use these these girls. So this was a really heavy episode. It was tough to watch. And then um, I knew it wasn't going to happen in Tandy. Or at least I believed it wasn't. But um, Tyrone went out looking for Tandy. Then Andre got to him too. Tried to make him forget about Tandy. The same way she kind of was like, uh, you know, thinking Tyrone doesn't need her. She's bad for everybody. Um, so Tyrone did forget. Then all of a sudden... Uh, Mayhem being in the store. I, I love that part being in the record store that little place where he's doing the you know emotional mind game crap that he does and She just starts wrecking stuff. She starts reminding Tyrone of Tandy And I love how Tyrone was on the bus or the train or, or whatever it was And he was just looking and he kept seeing signs the ambulance uh, a bunch of girls got on that did ballet ballet you automatically gonna think of Tandy she still does it so you know, he realized, he was like, wait a minute, Tandy's in trouble, and I gotta go help her, I gotta go save her. So Tyrone, using his powers, he's just using the left and right, going around the city looking for leads to Tandy. That was like the highlight of that episode. He was doing the darn thing, you know? And he was fighting, he was teleporting while fighting and stuff. He found Tandy, and, and it, pff, fantastic. But Tandy kind of broke out of it herself. You know, that daze that she was in, that girl, that one dumb girl, like, I don't want to leave. When Tandy was like, we can escape. I knew when she tried to run from that motel, somebody was just going to jump up and grab her. I'm like, girl, scream, bite him, kick, yell, why are you just running? Help, help, help. Motel. And that's kind of cool because it was a motel where they experimented on uh, uh, Tandy and Tyrone in the comics when they got their abilities with the drugs. It was some experimental drugs. And that's how they got their abilities. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I knew she was going to get caught like that. I, I just hated so much. And then it was like she couldn't even move, you know. And at the end of the episode, he's playing that music. And then a guy comes in, put money on the table. And he's getting ready to, you know, do his thing to Tandy. And she came through. Somehow she broke through. And, she, you know, she, her power started working or whatever. But that, like I said, the highlight of that episode was Tyrone searching for Tandy. We love that, don't we? We love when he's just like, she needs me and I gotta go do this. And she's so, you know, just worried about Tyrone. I mean, I'm ready for them to be together, be a couple. Uh, uh, come on now. Why are you playing with us? But enough about that episode. I don't want to talk about that one too much. I like this two player video game player myself. I love what they did with this. So Tyrone gets hurt and because of Andre and everything. And it seems he got shot. Um, and and he, he's like in a mental coma or something. And his ability, the, the black cloak, they don't use the cloak that his brother made anymore. They kind of have it just be like an energy cloak, a uh, dark dimension cloak or something. Yeah, so that's just all surrounded him and everything. He actually ended up getting him and Tandy to, uh, and, and um, O'Reilly, to the um, church. This was pretty cool because they brought Yvetta in. I like the girl, I like Yvetta, but I just, she just, she's not the one, man. I don't want to say that every review, but she's not. But anyway, she was trying to do something. I, you know, I don't get down with all that stuff. It's a different form. It's kind of like voodoo or whatever. But um, I don't, I don't, I don't like any of that crap. But yeah, she was trying to help. Doesn't seem like it was really working. Tandy realized, I'm going in there. I've been in there before. We're going in there. And it was that guy. What was that guy named? The little voodoo-looking guy that they had to talk to or something like that. And they had to take him candy or whatever. Oh, you know? Um, 
Yeah, yeah, Tandy, man. She, she's there. Tyrone's her best friend. She, she, she loves him. You can see that. And then she goes in there. Tyrone's playing video games. And what was that line? It was like, uh, we fight together. We live or something like that. I love it. I love when they, they bicker at each other, Tyrone and Tandy. And I love when they agree with each other. We need each other. You're my best friend. And he was doing a thing. So they're fighting through these memories, these sections of memories and stuff. Getting stronger as they do it. Like, we fight together, we get stronger. And it, sh it cuts, like, from them fighting seamlessly, cuts into the video game. And it's like Double Dragon or those old Nintendo uh, Ninja Turtle games and stuff. It's the side-scroller or street-brawling games. I love that. That was awesome. I remember, um, it reminded me of Scott Pilgrim versus the world. I had that game. I still got it. Maybe it's on my PS3. I still got it. Um, so that, yeah, that was fun. That was fun to see stuff like that. Uh, but yo, yo, Tyrone's mother. Yo, oh my God, Connors. Like she just, she's going through so much. I understand, but what in the world? Yo, she, she straight up executed the dude. She took him out, right? I, like, Man, you know, like, come on, man. Like, you know, I mean, like, who knows what you would do in a situation if you knew somebody framed your son. But he's giving you all this information. He's telling you all these things. Don't want to turn him into the cops because you think he's going to get off. But the dude, he, he wants he wants to get turned in. They just don't understand what's going on. I think it would have been better if Tyrone and Tandy kept him at the church or something like that. It, it's, mom's messing up. Mom's messing up big time. Oh, yeah, you got his aunt's dead now, it seems. Like, or whatever was, like, it's crazy, but, you know, Andre's got to go, man. This man's got to go. I'm tired of this dude already. I mean, he was cool. I like the actor. I like him acting. He's really good at that. But he's trying to become some god. He's like, I'll, I'll be on level with gods. Like, anybody with him, that woman that's working with him, should see he's kind of crazy. Like, whatever. Like, that dumb girl when, um... Uh, the uh, last episode, you know, I mean, um, the first the episode six, she found out because she stole that dude's phone. She's going through his phone. I guess he ain't had no password on there or anything. So anybody can find his phone and find out what the organization is doing. But anyway, she goes through his phone, find out that her mom was looking for her. Uh, all these things was lies. I'm like, wow, all that stuff was in his phone. And then she's like, yes, I want to leave now. Hold on. If you didn't want to leave just knowing what's going on there... I don't know. There are some weak people in the world. I mean, pimps do have holes, right? So, you know, <laughs> weak women. You know, pimps will tell you, I can get any woman I want. Not true. You're not going to be able to get everyone in the world. Or you already have millions of women working for you. Go get Oprah. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, yeah, I enjoy both episodes. They're great. The writers do fantastic. They come up with some interesting episodes. You know, almost every episode feels different. It it's it's got the same tone. It's it's cloak and dagger, but they do some new stuff every episode and they take it in new places. That's what you do with a show. I really like it. It's not my favorite show on television, and I do like the characters from the comics. They're they're like some of my favorite couples one of my favorite couples in uh Marvel comics. But um I really do like the show. I really do. But they're teasing us with this Tyrone and Tandy. Can't wait for them to get together. Um Yeah, yeah. How did this episode end? Oh yeah, Tyrone. Uh, um, um, dang, what did he do? What did he do? I thought him and O'Reilly did something. I can't remember right now. See, that's why I should have done the review right after I watched it. It's been two days. But anyway, yeah, okay. So, let me know what you guys thought. Leave some comments. Let's discuss it further. Anything I left out that was important? Should be talking about? Darn, I can't even remember what happened at the end. I gotta stop doing this. I'll be busy, man. I'm sorry. I'll be busy. Anyway, see you next time.